All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. You've got a submission specialist on one side, and on the other side, maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger oh! the entire time. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missed with the left there. Big punch landed over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Whoa! That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. And they both stand up. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. to recover here. Still in their fight. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing. He's in connection right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Both fighters back to their feet now. Telegraph that spinning back fist. exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan McLeod is going to stop this contest at 4 minutes, 16 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout. Right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories 